Go ahead. Okay, this is the explanation for math symbol salabim. Um, the trick is that they always are going to wind up in infinity, so that's what you write, kind of a sideways looking eight. And the trick of this is that on the multiples of nine, the symbol is always infinity. Because with this math, they're always going to wind up on a multiple of nine. So you show that you've got a bunch of different math symbols and you name a few of them. I wouldn't go down to infinity and name that one, but just name three or four. And ask them for any two-digit number. You write it down. He said 58. You have them add the digits together. And then that was 13 and subtracted from 58. In this case, it was 45. So it's always going to wind up being a multiple of 9. So you have him look at that multiple of 9 and ask him what symbol he's thinking of. And then you reveal that your symbol is, that symbol is what you picked. Now there's one other thing. You can do this trick a second time. If you sort of casually turn over the sheet, you say, well, maybe I was just lucky. We'll try it again. It looks like it's the same side, but on this one, the multiples of 9 are all the dollar sign. So you can predict that this time and it will wind up on that.